Hi Booktube, it's Andrea and today I'm here with an unboxing and this is the Illumicrate unboxing. This is the February box but it actually only arrived today which is March the 1st. There was a bit of a delay due to the person that normally sends out the packaging not being very well. So it's been a bit delayed but I'm really looking forward to getting into this. This is the last one I've subscribed to for the time being because I want to try some other subscription boxes and I'm still also trying out Audible to see if I like audiobooks or not. I really don't listen to them enough so I might cancel that and try another book subscription instead. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in this one. I always do so let's oh it's upside down open it up so got the usual lovely yellow in it with the Illumicrate card which I'm pretty sure is going to tell me what's in it which I will put there in case I need it but I'm not going to look at it thanks for letting Illumicrate brighten, brighten up your days there we go lovely so we've got the ye usual yellow puffy stuff that goes absolutely everywhere oh so the first thing is the little letter from the reader uh, about the book i'm sure this is about the new author so we won't look at that put that out the way for now so the first thing i'm seeing in this box are some bookmarks i love bookmarks so this one has got is following ophelia Lust, envy, danger, deceit, beauty, desire, betrayal, freedom, following Ophelia, Sophia Bennett. That sounds really good. So, mmm. Now, the next one is, um, says, my philosophy is that worrying means you suffer twice. Newt Scaramander. So that is obviously a Fantastic Beasts bookmark. I, lo I do love bookmarks. I, 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 oh, you can't have enough. So the next one is a postcard. And I collect postcards myself. Not all are equal, not all are free, not all will be saved. So, have a quick 10 years. So that's a postcard promoted, Gilded Cage by Vic James. Nice, like that. Next is a sampler of Flame in the Mist by Renee Adehe, who wrote The Wrath and the Dawn. I like the cover. That's pretty stunning. Ooh. I'll have a look at that. That looks interesting. Got the signed book plate that goes with the book. There's a bookmark that also goes with the book. Book. There's actually two books. Really? Two books? Or is it something else? Oh, it's an advanced reader copy. Oh. Oh, I love it. So the next thing I'm seeing is a little pouch, which says it's a bare necessities pouch. Lovely. And, from, and this is from, where's this from? This is from the Literary Lifestyle Company. So obviously, bare necessities is the jungle book. There's something inside. I think it's just the little label. Yeah, it is. And a little... Oh, because you're number one in our book, take 25% off your next purchase at the Literary uh, Lifestyle Company. Excellent, lovely. Sounds like a little pencil case, really, which is very nice. Then I have got... Um, these are fridge magnets, are they? Yeah, Darker Shade of Magnets. She bent most of the... I can't even read that. She broke the rest. She broke most of the rules. She bent most of the rules. She she bet, broke the rest. It's just me. And that one looks like that. And the next one says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. Actually, I like that. I actually like that one, V. E. Schwab. That is a fantastic quote. Now, what's this one? This is... A Magic and Mischief Lip Balm by Book Bookish Serendipity Company. So this is a lip balm. It's a great because I'm always losing my lip balms. So, oh, that smells, that smells nice actually. Let's give that a try. <laughs> Something handy. Now on to the books. Oops. Now, like I said, there are two books in this. The main book and the advanced reader copy. So the main book in this one is Winter Song by S.J. Jones and that comes with a lovely little Winter Song a bookmark. Go 
can't see if you can see it but yes it's, it's got the, the rose in the I suppose it looks like a crystal ball or a bubble I'm not actually sure so here we are all her life Liesel has heard tales of the beautiful dangerous goblin king they've enraptured her spirit and inspired her musical compositions and now 18 Liesel can't help but feel that her musical dreams and childhood fantasies are slipping away when her sister is taken by the Goblin King, Liesel must journey to the underground to save her. Drawn to the state, strange, captivating world, she finds a mysterious man who rules it. She soon faces an impossible decision. With time and the old laws working against her, Liesel must discover who she truly is before her fate is sealed. That sounds really good, but does, is anybody like me and think, you know, hear the Goblin King and think David Bowie and Labyrinth? Because, yeah, that's me, because I'm from that era and I love David Bowie. I love Labyrinth, even though I haven't seen it for ages. I love it. And the advanced reader copy is like a chunk. And it's Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. And I like that. It's not until you're broken that you find your sharpest edge. So apparently this is draw drop in fantasy according to Robin Hood and says the gods made her for ruin. Abandoned by her mother and saved from the gallows by a nun, Nana is taken into the convent of Sweet Mercy where she is trained in the art of killing wow it's a chunker it is like the advanced reader copy comes in at excluding the acknowledgements 653 pages that is a nice floppy paperback that's not gonna you know break the bag so thank you Aaliyah McCrate this is one of the best boxes yet and this isn't out until the 6th of April 2017 I'm not gonna guarantee I'm gonna read it and review it by then but I will try I'll let you know. So that's it. We got three bookmarks, two fridge mark magnets, a lip balm, a pencil casey pouch thing, obviously a slime book, book, book plate for winter song, um, a sampler of a flame in the mist, which looks fantastic, and of course, winter song and red sister. Fantastic. I'm gonna look. I, I got so many books to read. I just can't believe they sent us two, and I don't know when I'm gonna get into these, but really, really soon, I promise. Well, that was a great, great Aluma Crate. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. If you have, don't forget to leave a comment below if you've read um, The Ark of Red Sister or if you've read Winter Song and you've liked it, let me know what you think. And don't forget to share this with your friends. And of course, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and I will see you soon with another video. Bye now.